This video is all about how you name alcohols. Uh, check out the previous videos on how to name alkanes and alkenes if you haven't already done so. So the way that we know that we've got an alcohol is that all of them have the suffix A-N-O-L, so anol. So if it ends in anol, you know you've got an alcohol group, which is an OH group like this. You can draw these from nice and simple with one carbon. So I can draw the one with one carbon and then I can draw the one with two carbons and an OH group. I'm also gonna draw two different forms of the three carbon one. One where the OH group is on the end and one where the OH group goes in the middle. So the first thing we're going to do with the naming is we're going to put the suffix down because I know that since it's got the OH group, that means that all of them are going to end in anot. So let's put that down first. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how many carbons it's got. So this first one has one carbon, which means that using our monkeys eat peanut butter, it means it must have a prefix of meth. So that makes it methanol. The second one has two carbons, which has the prefix eth, which makes this one ethanol. And then the last two both have three carbons, making the prefix prope. So you've got two different forms of propanol. Now, obviously, these two are different, so I can't name them in exactly the same way. Otherwise, what would be the point? So what we do is we count the number of carbons and we use that to tell us which carbon the OH group is bonded to. So I'm gonna count with the end closest to the OH group. So I need to count from the left on this one on the left hand side. So carbon number one, two, three. So you can see that the OH group is attached to carbon number one in this case. So we call this one, propanol. In the other example, the OH is kind of in the middle, so it doesn't really matter which end I number my carbons from, because either way, the OH group is on carbon number two. So we call this one two propanol. Let's see if you can do one on your own. Pause the video and see if you can name this molecule uh, without any help. Give it a go. So the first thing you should have done is realize that it's got four carbons. So if it's got four carbons, that means it's going to start with but. Um, and it's also got an OH group, which means that it has to end in anol. So that makes it a form of butanol. I'm going to count the carbons to see which carbon the OH group is attached to, because I had a choice in this case. In this case, it's attached to carbon number two. So we call this two Butanol. Now your teacher may have taught you to call it butan 2 ol which is also fine and is perfectly reasonable. There's just different ways of naming things uh, coming from different sources. Both are okay. Okay, that's as tricky as it gets when it comes to naming alcohols. Um, go back, review that you can do all the alcohols, alkenes, alkanes together and spotting the differences between them.